Ariel, you were everything and more that I could ever possibly ask for in a person to share my life with. I love that you are real and down to earth. I love that we share similar personalities, share a similar sense of humor, and overall, a similar outlook on life. You're my best friend, and I cannot express enough of how much I love and I truly have for you. Ariel, you really know how to plan a party. And this has to be the best event since the 2010 house party that you graciously hosted at Nine Gibbons Place, Whitehorse, Yukon. It's the coldest hand that run down this land. Similarly, this event will be well talked about and you will never forget how you feel on this day. It's the tallest sound. From taping ourselves into our figure skating costumes to clocking endless hours of watching TLC wedding shows, we have arrived to your wedding day. Devin, I know that you're kind and treat Ariel like the queen that she is. From cooking food following her great limited menu to improving her golf skills with patience, I am beyond grateful the two of you have found each other. You're never lost among the crowd with me. Never lost among the crowd with me. Everywhere you go, I'll be. Anywhere you go, I see. <laughs> you guys took forever to get ready and you're ruining it now. There is one more, one memory. I had just come out of surgery and was recovering in the hospital bed with fresh bandages wrapped around my head. You were sitting next to me, resting your head on my lap from the bedside, holding my hand in comfort and providing me the reassurances that everything will be all right. That moment was so raw and the emotional toll of the events that had just taken place so clearly visible. You're my best friend and I cannot express enough of how much I love and I truly have for you. I stand here today in front of you to express my love I have for you. I promise to always love you and care for you. I promise to comfort you and support you through any bad times. I promise to celebrate with you and enjoy all of the good times with you. I promise to always be honest and true to you. Through better and through worst, I promise myself to you forever. I am so honored and privileged to have you as my wife and soulmate from this day forward. I love you, Ariel. When Devin and Ariel asked me to officiate this ceremony, I agreed, knowing that when the time comes, I'll be able to get them to repeat after me, and in doing so, I can single-handedly make their marriage better for years to come. So since no reason has been given why these two may not be married, I ask, do you, Devin, promise to give Ariel your love, your comfort, your patience, do you pledge to give her the same happiness she gives you through all, the, through all that life may bring in all your years together? I do. Do you, Ariel, promise to give Devin your love, your comfort, and your patience, to be honest and kind to him, to take him to be no other than himself? Do you pledge to let him win when playing Xbox, stay out late with his friends, and occasionally smoke cigars, and give him the same happiness you, that he gives you through all that life may bring 
and all your years together. I do. <laughs> Writing these vows to you has been one of the toughest things I've ever done because as you know, in true house family fashion, we don't talk about our feelings or share them with others. But here I stand excited to share my feelings towards you with everyone we are sharing this moment with today. Never believed in love at first sight. And if I'm being honest, I still don't. But you proved to me that love at second sight does exist. When I met you for the second time, you were sporting a cow costume and the ugliest camouflage boots I have ever seen in my life. And when people hear all that we have endured these last four years, I'm often presented with the following question. If you had to do it over again, knowing what you know now, would you? The answer for me has always been simple. It's always been yes. People often talk about how difficult relationships are and I often can't relate. People say love is hard, yet our love is the easiest, most special thing I have ever experienced. I am and always will be your number one fan as you are mine. Devin, today and every day to come, I'll choose you over and over. Without pause and without doubt, I will always keep choosing you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you, for the first time as husband and wife, Devin and Ariel. You may kiss the bride. Um, to Ariel, I'm happy that Devin has found a partner sharing his high and lows with you. Um, you both have experienced some trying times over the past years, and you didn't budge. You both have been there for one another, sharing many adventures over the past few years. It's a pleasure to see how happy you make each other, especially to witness on today how happy you are. I wish you all the love and happiness in your future adventures together to stand beside each other in the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Please everyone, raise your glass. Yeah. To the many years of love and happiness to the future help. Cheers. 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 You guys know we've been through a lot in the last couple of years. Um, I'm very grateful that Ariel is here, been by my side, obviously have said yes. Um, but I do want to thank you guys for showing up. You guys have been my best friends growing up. Um, and I'd probably speak as well as growing up as well with Ariel. Um, I wouldn't have asked for a better group of people to enjoy this day with us. Let's make some noise for Ariel and Devin, ladies and gentlemen. 